Hello, tis I, Morgan the King. This is a another taste test video of sorts, but as you can probably tell by the title and the thumbnail and your own common sense, uh, this one's going to be different from the others in the sense that it's not really a taste test for me because it's things I've already had before. I have done uh, some taste tests of Asian, Japanese, American, Mexican things. And a few people on Twitter, oddly enough, have asked me what my favourite British things are. And I've thought to myself, well, there's plenty of things. And there's quite a few things that I think are really cool and everybody needs to see. Uh, but at the same time, I'm not going to be like, uh, <laughs> shall we say, overwhelmed by new taste experiences or disgusted by some random flavour I've never had before. This is all things that I've had before, I like, and quite a few of them. I eat as often as possible because they're awesome. I've got a mixture of uh, savoury and sweet. Personally, I prefer savoury things. So, you know, I try to keep the balance as best I can. Uh, and we'll start with a drink of sorts. This is a can of Bars Bubblegum. Uh, it's 39p. Sometimes you can get it for cheaper than that. Bars are the company who make Iron Brew, which is a drink that all Americans are fascinated by. They also make bubblegum, they make uh, cherry aid that tastes like bath bubbles, the taste, uh, it really does, it really tastes like bath bubbles. They make lemonade, that's actually quite nice, they make cola, that's quite nice, and they make this bubblegum that is, and I've just spilled it on the table because I'm an idiot, I don't know if you can see it, it is bright blue, maybe it would help if I put it in a glass. Well, normally I would just drink it straight out of the tin. You have to see how blue it is. It is blue. It's mega blue. And yet somehow it's sugar free. I would love to know how they have accomplished that. Personally, I think it tastes a little bit like... Hmm, how to say? I think it tastes a bit like vague chemicals. Hmm, it certainly doesn't taste like bubblegum flavor. I know, I'm putting this in my favourite things, but truth be told, we don't really have our own drinks so much. I just drink, you know, Pepsi and stuff that you can get all around the world. <laughs> the only thing that we really have is Iron Brew, and that's Scottish and not English. But then again, I did say British, so this counts because it's, you know, it's Scottish. If you can see behind the bar's logo there, there is the Scottish flag, the St Andrew's flag, the blue a rectangle with the white cross across it. So yeah, there's that. Next we've got a pepperami. I'm cheating a little bit because this is from a multi-pack and not an individual one, but these things are bloody expensive and it's annoying because they're really nice. Like a pack of five of them is like two pound and there's absolutely no need for it. Pepperamis are a salami sausage that come pre-packed in their own little condom. And you can get green ones, which are the original. You can get these ones, the red ones, which are hot and spicy. You can get orange ones, which are Tex-Mex. And you can get a black one occasionally, which is like hotter than the fires of hell. These ones are pretty hot themselves, actually. It's funny because the cats always want them. So I always bite off a tiny little bit and give him it. Mainly Jet. <laughs> and I just watch his face as he realises it's spicy, but he still wants to eat it. Absolutely love these. Oh my god. So good. I'm trying to think of something that's similar that Americans might know of. Um, I'm tempted to say Slim Jims, but to my knowledge, Slim Jims are like meat offcuts and stuff. This is like a better quality of meat, if you like. Better quality of meat. Still gonna give you colorectal cancer, but slower than Slim Jims will. Ooh, there's the heat. <laughs> Next I've got some drumstick lollies. This is your standard size drumstick and anywhere that still does like corner shop style sweets and all that. You can usually get these for about 10p. Fair enough. And this is the mega one that you can get from supermarkets for 25p. And there's the size difference between them. So why am I showing you a lolly? Well, the thing that uh, really baffles anyone who's not British is the flavour of a drumstick. Uh, if you don't know, I will allow you to guess when I show you what colour it is. If you do know, keep it to yourself for five minutes. Ah, oh, yes, this one's mainly white. Yes, it is a double flavour thing. Very sticky as well if the heat gets to them. Uh, this bit is pink and this bit is white. You may think, well, what's pink and what's white? 
Uh, the answer is raspberry and milk. Yes, raspberry and milk flavoured lolly. I say a lolly, it's actually a very chewy sort of sweet on a stick that you can just pull the stick straight out and then eat it as a chew. Like so. And these are made by Swizzles Matlow. And they're basically the god of British confectionery. Ask someone to name British sweets. Guaranteed they'll name at least one thing that's made by Swizzles Matlow. As I'm still eating the drumstick. Another lolly that's made by Swizzles Matlow is these. They're called Fruity Pops. And they are the most generic, bland and boring thing on the face of the earth. Nobody likes them, yet they still exist. And I always come in multi-packs. And you always get them at Halloween. I don't know why. And um, they come in three flavours. Orange, strawberry and this one is blackcurrant. Which is a flavour that we only really get here. Because we grow blackcurrants. Well, that's a drink that we get here, blackcurrant juice. And um, yeah, it's basically just a hard boiled sweet on a stick. They're really boring, really generic. They're everybody's last choice. But they still exist. And they've existed for absolute decades. Another thing from Swizzles Matlow is a double lolly. This is a double lolly. This is a mega double lolly. <laughs> this thing is absolutely friggin' lethal. If you have never been hit on the head with one of these, you never went to school in the UK. Just the force you can really get whacking these someone on the head, you can give them concussion. It is basically a, what's the correct term? Compressed dextrose. It's hard. It's covered in powdery stuff. And they're usually two flavours, but I can't figure out what the flavours ever are. They're really good though, and they take absolutely forever to eat. Nope. No thought a hint at flavouring, just that they've got like sugar and corn flour and modified cornstarch in them. And they make excellent weapons. I'm going to go back to savoury now. 20p. These are Space Raiders. Often, uh and for obvious reasons, misnamed Space Invaders. These are maize. No, they're not. They're corn. <laughs> Most things are maize, so I assume they're maize. They are corn snacks, also known as crisps, though they're technically not crisp because they're not made of potatoes, they're made of corn. And uh, they are little alien heads. Little alien heads. Surprisingly crunchy. It's such a really fake beef flavour as well. I think you can get a pickled onion and barbecue. And there's a yellow one, which I assume is cheese. This is made by Golden Wonder. Golden Wonder makes such interesting crisps, I swear. On the back of each bag, there's like a stats of the different alien that's on the bag. That's the red one. So he's... um. Uh, he's three and a half meters tall, and he likes to eat um. He likes to eat cows that have been raised on Af astroturf and uh, beef space raiders, as you do. Back to Swizzles Matlow again, Palmer motherfucking violets. These are ordinary sized Palmer violets. These are giant Palmer violets. <laughs> do you notice a trend with Swizzles Matlow? Now. What flavour are Palmer Violets? And there are still people in this country who don't know. That's what they look like. They are little hard sweets, like that. Again, compressed dextrose. What flavour do you think Palmer Violets are? Yes, they are violet flavour, as in the flower. These are flower flavoured sweets. They're actual, um, whoops. It says on these ones, actually, look. Delicately perfumed violet sweets. They do. They stink. You open a packet of Palmer Violets and it's like you sat next to your nana. The stink of old nana perfume. It's like violet lavendery sort of smell. 
And I swear, it is just like you are, you've gone out and you've picked some flowers and you are eating them. And according to this book I have about sweets, they topped the poll by absolutely miles. A list of British sweets that people love to hate. My dad really likes them. Shelley really likes them. She has a Palm of Violets mug that she has coffee in. I, I'm not, I, uh, I've got to play the indifferent card. I'll eat them if there's nothing else, but I won't choose them as my first choice for anything. Now I got some Transformer snacks. These are like one of my favourite, favourite things ever. These come in different flavours. So there's cheese, uh, barbecue, spicy, uh, various other things. The best thing about these, these are, uh, what are these made of? Corn and potato. I was going to say maize again and they aren't. The best thing about these is that you can play with them. You get two different shapes of crisps. You get this one that is shaped like a little man. Or if you like, the body of a car. I'm going to have to open them out onto the table. And you get these ones that are shaped like wheels. And you can put them on here and build cars. Edible motherfucking cars. Are you serious? This is 2018. These still exist. I ate them all the time as a kid. There's my car. That way. I have made a car out of crisps. <laughs> this is quite possibly the best time to be alive, I swear. Swizzles, Matt Lowe again. I can put these two things together. Um, fizzers. The, these are pretty much near identical to what you Americans call Smarties. You have sweets like this that are called Smarties. We also have sweets called Smarties, but they are mm, they're very similar to chocolate M&Ms, I guess, and they come in a tube. So, you know, depending on where you are in the world. Also in India, they sell our sort of Smarties in India as well. Uh, you know, think about where you are before you ask for Smarties, because you'll either get chocolate or you'll get uh, compressed extras. And these ones love hearts. These are pretty much the same thing, compressed extras, but they come in the bigger things, these little discs if you like. And they have got hearts stamped on them and messages. Some of the messages are a bit strange. So this one says loving you. I don't know if you can really see it because all the colourings come off. Whoops. Yes, these get sold around Valentine's Day quite a lot. Let's dance. Supposedly, like in the 70s, 80s, whenever the hell they came out, probably a lot earlier than that. You, you know, you gave them to people to tell them that you fancied them. This one says glam. Uh, this one says winner. Over the years, they've sort of like changed the messages because they used to be, I swear, when I was a kid, there were ones that said uh, fax me or phone me. And then as I got older, they changed it to email me or text me. I don't know if either of those still exist. Meant to be. Then there were some vaguely insulting ones like big baby and don't cry and things like that and that one just says kiss <laughs> what? and that one also says glam so i've got a double and these are just uh hard chalky little sweets with um, very little flavor but oddly addicting and these two are near identical to fizzers slash smarties and if you want to know what they taste like and you've tasted the american smarties you already know do you want to lose some fill-ins with me? Swizzles Matlow again. Refreshers. And they come in two different flavours. We've got strawberry and we've got original. Original, for some reason, being lemon. Nobody likes lemon, yet for some reason everybody likes lemon-flavoured refreshers. What's different about these is, and these have also got warm and are now incredibly sticky, It when I get the wrapping off it. <laughs> you can actually see because it's broke. On the inside there you can see some sherbet. It is a chewy sweet with sherbet inside. Quite simply. Ah and they will, if you have fillings, rip your fillings out. Oh my god. They're really, really hard to start. And they're really, really, really gooey and sticky and stretchy when you when they get warm. Nice though. This one's a bit of a novelty. Golden Gum Nuggets, Tutti Fruity Flavoured Bubble Gum. It comes in this little tiny hessian sack. And for obvious, for hygiene reasons, inside the actual sweets are in a plastic bag. 
but something tells me originally they weren't in a plastic bag they were just you know loose in a hessian sack exposed to the elements nothing would surprise me Ugh. and they are just little chunks of bubble gum meant to look like gold nuggets i guess and on the front we've got this crazy prospector guy I don't know why we like to appropriate American culture, and yet Americans are always the ones who get accused of cultural appropriation. Who knows? And uh, yeah, it's bubblegum. It's tutti fruity flavor bubblegum. Absolutely amazing. Just very, very similar to Anglo bubbly or bazooka gum. That sort of bubblegum flavor. Mmm. A little hint of um, juicy fruit as well. Tastes a little bit like juicy fruit. The only problem with it is the flavour doesn't last two minutes. You'd be lucky if it lasts 30 seconds. But then you can keep the little bags and, uh, I don't know, put real gold in them. Another bag of crisps. I've got some pom bears. Oh my god, pom bears. These are made by KP. And just in fact, my mum used to work in the KP factory before she gave birth to me. <laughs> That's awesome. These are potato little teddy bears. I didn't find one that isn't all curled up. It's like they've reacted to being cooked and like curled up. There's a teddy bear. He's got his face. These are really, really bad. That's a better example. No, his eyes and his face. And for some reason, he also has a belly button. I don't know if you can see there. There we go. He has a belly button. I have no idea why. These ones are the best. Cheese and onion, obviously. You can also get um, original, which are red. And they taste of literally nothing. It is like eating polystyrene. So I don't know why you'd even bother. They're supposed to look like that. And finally, we have something that was my childhood. I used to get one of these as a treat, because they used to sell them at the chemist. I was a very sickly child, so whenever my mum used to go and pick up my prescriptions, she'd buy me one of these. Now, I can't say that it's British, because it's not. It's made by uh, Chupa Chups, or Chupa Chups, if you like. Uh, and they're from Spain. And upon, uh, you know, researching, you can actually buy these in other countries, including America. This is a melody pop. It is a lollipop that is also a whistle. It is whistle shaped. And you can use this stick to adjust the pitch of the note you play. weirdly sexual <laughs> the only problem with this is whoops aside from dropping it you once you start eating it you can't really use it as a musical instrument anymore but i like to play the mario brothers theme on it Copyright claim that, Nintendo, you greedy cunts. <laughs>